it's go time. So I am, I grabbed some coffee. I grabbed some breakfast. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get out of here. I'm ready to do all of the things. It's a little fun, a little exciting to kind of get on the road like this. And it's pretty early. I've been up for about an hour and a half. Uh, just trying to get stuff ready to go. You know, all that fun stuff. So the only thing is I forgot a sweater and I'm tempted to run back to my apartment. I'm about to pass it. I'm tempted to run back to my apartment and grab it. I think I will. But other than that, I am ready to get out of here. Woo so I will... Come back shortly with an update. See you then. Okay, first pit stop of the day. I'm somewhere between Waco and Dallas. At this point, I think I'm closer to Dallas than I am Waco, but yeah, not entirely sure. However, I had to stop at a restroom and it was just a quick little pit stop. Things are going pretty well. Nothing super crazy. Uh, I have a feeling I'm gonna hit rush hour in Dallas though, so that's gonna be a huge bummer. Um, but hopefully I don't hit rush hour in Dallas. So uh, we'll see, but, and I'll let you know how it goes, and I'll let you know the next time I stop. But I made it about almost two hours before I needed to stop, but I drank a whole thing of like a large Diet Coke from McDonald's because their Diet Cokes are my favorite and I've had most of this so but I needed a lot of caffeine I'm kind of tired so that's where I am right now but I'm gonna go ahead get back on the road I'm gonna listen to more of my podcast I've been listening to Crime Junkie they are my favorite and we'll go from there I'll let you know what happens uh, if I hit rush hour in Dallas, I'll be sure to let you know. I'm sure I won't be quite as happy, <laughs> but we'll see, uh, and I'll talk to y'all later. to y'all from Arkansas. Uh, finally made it into Arkansas, as you probably saw in that last clip. Finally made it, yay! It is lunchtime now, so my plan is to find a place to grab some lunch. I think I have about four more hours until I get to Memphis, which is my end destination for today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the road get on I don't know <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that ah. um but I am gonna go ahead and hit the road um so I can get there sooner rather than later I would prefer to get there as early as possible the last time I checked my GPS it projected that I would be there at around I think 4 30 so I'm figuring probably with pit stops and things like that something more along the lines of like 5 to 5 30 so that's kind of where I am, but I'll let you all know what happens when I get closer. All right, we are crossing the Mississippi River. Woo! There's the river over there. Lock her back into place. So we're just crossing the river. I think once we get to the other side, I will officially be in Tennessee. And I have directions for things to do right after, so. Um, but I think the Mississippi serves as the border, so. Pretty sure, but not entirely. Oh yeah. 
It is. It's the border. That's what my map says. Welcome to Tennessee. Oh. My map just welcomed me to Tennessee. That's very kind of them. Alright, so we are officially in quarter mile. Take the I-55 Tennessee Airport, Jackson, Mississippi. I'm gonna go. <laughs> Good morning everyone. I totally forgot to vlog when I got to my hotel room, but I am here because it was just such a stressful night. I use one of those websites that helps you to see like all the different hotels in the area that you're looking at in the days and then they try to get you deals and so when I found the hotel that I'm at it said that with taxes and everything it came to $50 and I was like heck yes yes so I booked it I was super excited but I hadn't paid for it because you don't pay for it up front you pay for it when you get to the hotel so I guess that should have been my first indication um, although I'm glad I didn't pay for it. So I get all the way out to Memphis. As you saw, no real issues. Like everything went pretty smoothly. And then I get to Memphis, I get to the hotel, I go to check in and they don't have my reservation. And I was like, uh, but I have, I have emails. So I showed her the emails and she was like, oh, you did this through booking.com. Apparently they've been canceling people's reservations. What? So they had just canceled my reservation. Like they didn't call me, they didn't email me, nothing. I checked my emails late last night and I got an email from them at like seven o'clock at night after I'd already checked into my hotel room. And they were like, hey, sorry about the issue. Like. We actually couldn't honor the original price that we gave you, so we just canceled your reservation. <laughs> Thankfully, they had hotel rooms, but they, the hotel wouldn't honor the original price that I had. So I had to pay double, <laughs> to pay $105. Um, which I mean, I had budgeted for about a hundred, give or take a few dollars each way. So that's not really the issue. The issue is the fact that like this company can just do this. It's really, really frustrating. So anyway, after I got that taken care of, I went, I laid down for a bit. There's a Chick-fil-A nearby. I just went to Chick-fil-A. I was like, I don't even care what I eat at this point. I'm just tired. I'm hungry. Then I went to lay down and I couldn't fall asleep. So that's where we're at. But it's early. I need to get ready. I need to get out the door. I'm just going to put my hair up in a bun. I'm going to grab a whole bunch of ice, put it in my thing. I'm going to take all my stuff down to my car, pack that up. I think they're due. I think they have like a continental breakfast. So if they do, I'll eat breakfast and then I'll bolt it out of here because this is a longer leg of my trip. So that's what happened last night. I will obviously never use that company ever again to book a hotel room. So we'll see. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys later on. I'll be in my car by then, I'm sure. And I'll see you then. Hi everyone, I'm on the road. So, pretty easy start to my morning. Um, after I filmed last, I just packed up my car, got my, did my hair. I didn't get my hair did, but I did my hair. Um, and I am on the road. So, I am, I think about 50 miles less than 50. I'm less than 50 miles south of Nashville and then I'll hit Nashville and then from there I'm gonna go up into Kentucky. I'll cut through Louisville. I'll go into Cincinnati, cut through Ohio and then up into Michigan from there. So that is the overall plan for today. It has me arriving at about quarter after six so that's pretty exciting. 
um, that I won't be there super, super late. A few funny little things that I've noticed. So first thing is through my travels, when I think of Texas, one animal that comes to mind are armadillos. In my few years that I've been living in Texas, I've only ever seen like a very, very small amount of armadillos on the side of the road. But when I was driving through Arkansas and even into Tennessee, which is where I am, there's so many armadillos like dead on the side of the road, which one is sad, but two, like, I don't think of Arkansas and armadillos. I mean, there's not much that I think of when it comes to Arkansas but armadillos are definitely not one. So that was 100% a surprise to me. The other funny little thing that I noticed um, was that once you leave Memphis, it's all like a Southern accent. When I was in Memphis, like I went into a store, I went into Target, I went into a TJ Maxx, cause I'm always, if there's a TJ Maxx, I'm gonna go check it out went into those stores, everybody in my hotel, where I got dinner last night, no Southern accent. Leave Memphis this morning, stop at Starbucks, and it's like, well, hello there, sweetheart. Also, I do horrible accents. And it just took me by surprise. So there's that. So I just wanted to point that out. Um, other than that, I'm just kind of driving through like I said, I'm about uh, 50 miles south of Memphis, uh, south, I don't know if it's south, it just is 50 miles until Memphis, so I'm about 50 miles until I get to Memphis, so we're doing it, we're doing it, we're making good progress, woo, so I'm excited to get to Michigan, I'm excited to get out of my car for a little while and like stretch my legs and all of that fun stuff. So I will see you probably when I hit Memphis or when I hit Kentucky. So I will see you then and if anything else interesting pops up, I will let you all know. Finally made it into Ohio. Woo! Never been so excited to be in Ohio in my whole life, but here we are. So, what does that mean for me? One, I have one more state to go. Yeah. And then two, I only have four more hours to go. I just recently, I missed both the signs for Kentucky and for uh, Ohio because as you're driving in, you're also like changing freeways and it was super confusing. I was obviously concerned about driving. Basically, um, yeah, I'm almost to Michigan. I'm at the bottom of Ohio. I just got through Cincinnati. I almost got through, or I just got through Cincinnati. I think I'm kind of like in the suburbs of Cincinnati, so. But, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to be back. Um, but I just wanted to pop in real quick. Nothing eventful has happened. I've just made it through Kentucky and just, you know, moseying my way through Ohio. Um, I do have to be mindful of the speed limit in Ohio um, because Ohio police officers are known for catching speeders. Um, however, I do not have a Michigan plate. I have a Texas plate, so that might help me. Who knows? So, anyway, I just wanted to pop in, wanted to say hey, um, wanted to let you know how things are going so far, and yeah. So, with that being said, I'm gonna, I think, what time is it? It's 47, so I'm not hitting rush hour. Um, there's just a little bit of traffic, so I'm not sure what this is all about, but I'm gonna let y'all go so I can deal with this traffic, and I'll probably catch up with y'all when I hit Michigan, all right?
Welcome to Michigan. Yay! I made it! Yes! I made it to Michigan, everyone! <laughs> Finally! Yes! Alright, so I have about an hour left until I get to my destination, but I am finally in Michigan. Sorry about those bumps. Finally there. Super excited. Um, and yeah. Can't believe I'm finally here. Yay! Hey there, everyone. Trying to be quiet, but. Uh, it's definitely a few days later and I totally forgot to close out my video because I'm just so excited to get out of the car and be done. So with that being said, thank you for hanging in there with me as I drive from Texas to Michigan. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more plan related content. And as always, everyone, stay safe out there and have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.